Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on where you are. My name is Aaron Cantero from GMI, part of Zambia, Eastern Province. That's where I am. And uh, today is an interesting day that I want to show you something very, very interesting. You're going to like it. You know, you who like streaming, all right? You know, that is uh, live streaming or those who like recording. You don't have the mixer where you can, you know, put your effects this video is for you. You're going to stick around up to the end of this video so that you learn something from um, uh, uh, this video. All right, so let's begin. Uh, what I'm trying to explain to you today is that there is a virtual cable that you can use. You know, the virtual cable, it means it's not the physical cable. It is a virtual cable that uh, you can use to route your input to the output and then you take the output to the input. That's what I'm talking about. Out. So what you can do is go download, go on the you know on the Google or go on Chrome and just download, just type VB cable uh, driver, and then when you download that, here is a downloaded one. So when you download this, you install. After you install, what you do is you go to the sound settings. Sound settings. What you do there, you go to the playback. You know, uh, before you go to the playback, playback is the output. Recording is the input. So you go to your microphone, the microphone you're using, and then what you do is uh, you right-click in properties and then go to advanced. When you go to advanced, you set, you know, these settings, the default format. So mine is on one channel, 16-bit for 8,000 heads, DVD quality. So the same settings, you just make sure that the same settings are the settings you put uh, to your playback. When you install the virtual cable, what is going to happen is that you're going to see it right now. The one I'm using is a virtual cable. You know, it is here. It is working. You can see it. And then you right-click properties. You go to advanced. Then you set the same as you set to the input. Then you set the same settings. Mine, again, you know, 16-bit for 8,000 A's, DVD quality. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. When you set the same settings, you exit the sound settings. Then you go to Adobe Audition. That's where now you set your settings, your effects, you know, how you want your audio, how you want your sound to sound like. For example, I'm sounding in the effects right now. I'm using the Procaster microphone, uh, the Rode Procaster microphone, and um, this is not the actual voice. This voice I'm speaking, you know, is passing through the what? Is passing through the uh, the, the effects that I, I've, I've said uh, in Adobe Audition. So the next thing you want to do is you go to Edit Preferences and then you go to Audio Hardware. Audio Hardware, what you do is that you set your default input to your microphone, the actual microphone you're using. Mine, I'm using this one, USB Audio Codec. So this is what I'm using. Then you go to the output, the the output you don't use your 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 speakers like USB audio codec. No, you use the cable now. The same cable we have set. The same cable you have downloaded, you have installed in your computer, and then it will appear here. You just uh, uh, put it here, and then you close. You close. When you close, the other thing you wanna do is. This is the channel where we are going to set the effects in the Adobe Audition. So this is the channel. So what you do is that here there is the input and the output settings. You go and set your input to your microphone and then set your output. You know, you go to stereo or maybe mono if you want stereo. And then you set the stereo. Your, your, your output to the cable, this VB audio virtual cable, that's where you set it. When you set it, you can start adding the effects now. When you add the effects, you know, uh, like for me, the first effects, the, the first effect, the effects, the first, I'm sorry, the first effect of set or of uh, inserted is the ampli, amplify. So my amplitude 
you know, is uh, 2 dB. That was okay for me. And then I've used the hard limiter. Hard limiter, negative 0.1 is the maximum amplitude. And then the input boost is on 5.0 dB. And then this is it. And then I've used the DSA. You know this? The DSA. This is the great one that, you know, uh, reduces the tss -tss -tss to my, you know, that what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what this does. You already know this. And then uh, the denoise. The denoise, you know, mine is on 20, but you can go up to 40. I think 40 is okay. You can go up to 40, but you shouldn't go beyond. When you go beyond, you know what is happening. You can hear my audio. It is, you know, picking the same effect. So you can hear the, you know, the noise uh, amount is uh on 100 this is not good when you go beyond that it's it's not gonna sound good you know it's going to affect the voice but I, at least you go less than 40 that is okay but man i put it on you know on 20 that is according to the microphone you are using my microphone the road procaster um you know is a good microphone it does not pick the, the, the a lot of noise so uh this is the reason why i'm just putting it on 20 so that's okay all right so i just added the um maserati b2072 uh, stereo and then these are my settings these are my settings so you can set them as well and my bass is a 7.3, my output 5.0, my treble 2.7, that's okay. And then I've just added a little bit of a, a reverb. For example, uh, my mix is on uh, uh, 4.0%, that's okay. I don't need a lot of, this is a voice, you know, uh, it's not the music, it's not an, it's, it doesn't need to be, you know, uh, overdone you know for example if i try to put it on uh, 100 you know what it, it happens for example oh, so i reduce let me just be reducing bit by bit you see what is happening it is affecting my voice right now you can see you can hear all right so um for me four is okay so let me just set it at four that's okay and then um you know this one it has got the EQ of the reverb. So I just put the the, the EQ on uh, this level. That's okay, according to me. So uh, let me just uh, put it here. So that is okay. Yeah, that, that is okay, according to me. So that, that's it. And then uh, parametric equalizer. I like this one. You know, I've just cut the high purse. I don't need it. I don't need it. For example, this one. I don't, I don't need this. And then I just raise the, the high frequencies. Just up, 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 up. That's okay, according to me. And then I've uh, just added the uh, GW mix centric stereo. You know, it's a nice one. You know what happens when I let me, for example, let me just uh, increase the out the input. You know what happens? You can see. Almost a distortion. You can hear that. So I don't need this. I just need to put it on uh, double click and then uh, zero or zero point one. That's okay. Zero point seven. That's okay. That's done. And then this one C L R mixed down stereo. This one. Everything is like that. You've seen it. And then uh, that's okay. So now what is happening is that. My voice is processed in those effects, you know, on this track. For example, um, if uh, 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 I'm not using the effects, for example, I'm not using the effects, what happens? You know how my, my voice is going to sound? Let me just, um, because I've set the, 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 you know, the, the preset. Let me just remove it. Now you can hear. You can hear, right? There is nothing. So this is my original voice from the microphone. No processing, nothing. All right? So let me just add my preset. That's
Okay, now you can hear. I like this one. So now, what you do, you go to your streaming, you know, a software. You go to your streaming software or recording software. Mine is OBS. When you go to OBS, what happens, you set up your input, you know, let me just show you. Right click on your input properties. Your input, put it on the cable. Put it on the cable, the output, put it, uh, the, 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 the cable output, VB audio virtual cable, put it on this one. The input, put it on the cable. Input, put it on the cable. All right? So that what happens is, let's go back to Adobe Audition. When you, you know, press on this red button, record, and then you go press this button, I. I was not sounding because I, I switched off the I, the monitor one, the monitoring one. So this one is what, you know, brings the output to the OBS. So OBS cannot work if you switch this off. This is where the secret is. All right? OBS is speaking from this cable input. It's like we are getting, what happens, the virtual cable, what it, it does, it gets the input to the output, and, and, and then we put back the output to the input in OBS. That's what happens. So here, what is happening is that the output is the cable, so I put it on the input. So this OBS... It is using the output of the Adobe Audition. This is what is happening. So now, that means um, if you want to stream now, you can go stream. Here I'm recording. As you can see here, I'm recording. So I'm recording with the same effects. Nothing, no difficulties. This is great. It sounds great. If I can stream, I can stream with the same effects no problem no problem so if you're streaming no problem you're recording no problem i think i've covered it i've covered the 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 the, the thing so that is what happening so next time i want to show you how to do it in um, a cubase you know you can also do that so here it is thank you so much for watching the video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel our YouTube channel, GMI Studios. This is Grace Media Inc. TV. Subscribe so that anytime we upload the video, you just receive the notification. What you do is just hit on that bell and set the bell so that at the end of the day, you receive the notification anytime we receive the video. Thank you so much, those who are watching from Facebook. Anyway, so that's okay. So thank you so much. My name is Aaron Kinsero from GMI. Thank you so much. I'm out.